So in this video, I want to talk about these blue light blockers and what it has done for me. And, you know, so far, what the difference is between having a white blue light blocker and an orange one. And just why you should be using this every day, at least one hour before bed. So most people do know that having good sleep is important. Just like most people know that having a good diet is important or that exercising is important. Yet most people don't really know how to actually do this. And as a result, people go to bed way too late. They don't have enough sleep. They wake up unrefreshed in the morning and they are fat and they don't exercise and they are weak and all of that stuff, right? So th this has been the same for me. I've known, I've thought about sleep for a very long while. Like I've read books about it. I only read one book about it. Read a lot of articles about it, videos, a ton of stuff, but I still didn't really get what it really takes to get good sleep. So I know the first issue that I noticed is that when you wake up in the morning, you get this timer going off and it's the sound, right? And you just get pulled out of your REM sleep, which is like your dream state. And as a result, you just feel groggy all day. You want to prevent that. And the best way to do that is by not having yourself being waken up by sound, but by getting yourself woken up with a wake up light. So this slowly increases its brightness in the morning as you want to wake up at like say 7 a.m. So if it's 6 a.m. or 6.30, whatever you want it to be, it's slowly in the time of like 30 minutes going to increase its brightness so that you can already wake up by just the light hitting your eyes. And then at the moment that you really got to wake up, like say 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., it's going to make some sounds, but those also are going to slowly increase in volume. And that way you won't get just pulled out of your REM sleep ever again. I highly recommend getting a wake-up light. It's like 100 bucks. Get it from Philips. I previously had another drop shipping 30 bucks thing that just broke in a couple of months. I wouldn't recommend it. Just invest in a really good one and it will serve you for years to come. Then, of course, once you know how to wake up properly using a wake-up light, if you want, then, you know, you also want to make sure that you go to bed early enough. And I can tell you, this has been the hardest thing for me ever. The past two weeks, the average time that I went to bed is 3 a.m. or even 4 a.m. And I've had some nice 5 a.m. And of course, I am working very hard. I've been working every day for the past one and a half weeks because I have so much going on. But I know that I can get more done if I just woke up earlier instead of trying to work throughout the night. But there, there's just some tendency that I have to stay up late because I can't go to sleep. And the reason that I can't go to sleep is because of blue light. Um, and blue light basically suppresses your melatonin release. And melatonin is basically the hormone that makes you tired so you can go to bed at night and get some deep sleep. The more melatonin you have, the deeper you sleep, the faster you fall asleep and the less breaks you have in between your sleep. Because many people don't notice that you wake up very often during the night and that if you lie in bed for like eight hours then you might only get six and a half hours of sleep for most people i believe that if you lay in bed for like eight hours a night you can get like seven but this really depends on your activities beforehand if you had so much stuff going on and your head is full of information then it might take you like 20 minutes to fall asleep or 50 minutes and then you might wake up a lot more often because you don't have enough melatonin to get you that deep sleep so you can learn a ton about this I highly recommend you to read the book called Sleep Smarter and listen to Andrew Huberman's podcast and you'll learn a ton about sleep and how to improve it. So I've had blue light blockers for a while and we all know of certain famous people that, that also advertise and sell these blue light blockers with their own brand on it, which I wholly support because they are so important. And all these great internet entrepreneurs, not all of them, but many of them will stress the importance of it. Getting a good night of sleep is the foundation of everything in life. Because if you don't get good sleep, then you don't recover well. And then you don't have as much brain and muscle power, if you will. And then you just perform less optimally. You make less money. You become less stronger and you become less disciplined. You become fatigued quicker. It's a domino effect, you know, and you call it a keystone habit. If you've read some books about habits and sleep for sure is one of the keystone habits that makes or break everything. I think I've already made another video on this and you can watch more on that there. But these blue light blockers just changed my fucking life, even though they just arrived today. But I'll tell you, if you start using these blue light blockers, whatever you want to do with life, if you want to perform better with work, you know, getting rich or just become smarter studying or become stronger, having great workouts, you need energy for all of these. And having a terrible sleep rhythm is going to ruin that. Like you're going to be lazier both mentally and physically when you don't get great sleep. And 
people who have a lot of blue light in at night, they tend to sleep less. And that you lay in bed for like nine hours doesn't mean that you get nine hours of sleep. A lot of people don't understand that if you are in bed for nine hours, you might only get seven hours of sleep. And it also depends on how long does it take before you fall asleep. And that all depends on the melatonin release. If you've had a lot of blue lights and a lot of stimulation like movies or video games and problems and business just before going to bed and you're going to sleep with all of that bullshit in your head, then you might lay awake for like 20 minutes before you can actually sleep because you have all of these thoughts and your whole body is still active. And then during sleep, you might actually wake up a lot more often than you are aware of because you're not aware of it. So these blue light blockers obviously help that. And as a result, it's easier for you to go to bed because you don't have the blue light from your computer anymore. Then you fall asleep quicker. So you're more efficient and you have more deep sleep because you had more melatonin production. And as a result, you wake up earlier and you wake up more refreshed so that in the morning you can do whatever you want to do. That's why sleep is the keystone habit. And now let me talk about the differences between say an orange blue light blocker and say a white one. So the difference obviously is that this is completely orange and this is from Swenwick. I don't sponsor this company. It's just the one that I got recommended by from some YouTube channel and I did my research and they actually have some research to back themselves up with. So I decided to ship them from the United States to the Netherlands cost like $120 and I think it's worth it. Got it myself this case that's foldable with it. So you can, um, uh, let me just see. So yeah. So you can completely fold it so that it's completely flat and then you can get it back up again so you can put your glasses in it. And I've got this cleaning stuff with it as well. So the reason that I upgraded from those glasses to these is because basically those glasses are just kind of cheap. They only cost like 30 bucks on Amazon, probably like drop shit by some kid, not that high quality. And the second reason is because it's only white. I would call it white, like invisible, no color. And as a result, it doesn't block all of the wavelengths, only like 50% if I had to make a guess. And these ones actually block out 99%. But of course, there might be less market for it because many people are not willing to see only orange instead of just seeing normal light. But the color that you see on your phone when you have the blue light filter on is exactly what I'm currently seeing, but then all spread out. And you might actually think this is like a common objection. I already have a blue light filter on my computer. And then I would say, yes, that works for a very large extent, probably like over 80%. So you're already doing a good job, but still there's coming a lot of light from that computer or phone of yours that's still having some negative impact. And you underestimate the impact of your lights in your, in your bathroom, in your kitchen, in your own sleeping room. So as a result, you might have blue light blocks on your screen, but you walk into the kitchen or into the bathroom and you just get woken up again. So let me give you an example. You wake up in the middle of the night, you got to go to the bathroom and pee and you switch on the light and you just get overwhelmed by all the brightness. And in my bathroom, we can just, you know, lower the brightness. So I always lower it as much as possible because otherwise it just hurts my eyes and I get woken up from it. That just shows how sensitive we are to light. Melatonin production is stimulated by darkness. So when you have any light in a room during midnight, it just communicates to your body that it's becoming day again. So as a result, once you go back to bed, you have less deep sleep. So even when I have to pee during the night and you of course want to prevent having to go pee during the night, I never pee during the night. You want to put on the blue light blocker so that you don't get overwhelmed by light and get less recovery as a result. So that is proof that you don't just want to have blue light filters here. You also want to have these glasses so you don't get any light from your bathroom or your kitchen or your room where you sleep. And I mean, no one goes to bed sleeping with lights turned on, right? We all go to bed and we switch off the lights because otherwise it's harder for us to sleep. So that only is a demonstration, an example, proof that the lights in your room also keep you awake. So all these people that I talked to that I just encouraged to get these blue light blockers and who told me that, oh, well, you know, I just have my blue light filter on my screen. They are not aware of the problem with their own lighting. And as a result, they will probably not get the great sleep that they could have. 
and as a result, they then lose another point in the race for greatness. And you know, nobody has it all. There's a lot of people who are very rich, but unhealthy. And there's even fewer people who are very healthy and not rich because in order to become healthy, you actually need some money. Like I'm spending a thousand dollars a month on my diet and it's so freaking expensive because high quality products are way too expensive now nowadays, which means that the poor people, people with an average income of like say $2,300 a month after taxes, they are not able to pay and afford high quality products. So as a result, they lean towards uh, cheap processed foods and as a result, they get fatter and as a result, they get dumber and as a result, they will ne never get out of that trap. Because if you cannot fix your body and your mind, you can also not fix your finances. Because first, you have to fix your own business before you can start creating a new one. Because you are your own business. As a result of having this mindset of being open to everything and trying to experiment and trying to learn new things, you become a more complex human being, a more complex man. And that is in a positive way. Because you are more nuanced, you have more ways and things that you know of that help you optimize your life to get the things that you want and to live the life that you want to live. And as a result, you'll get more money, you'll become more intelligent, you'll become stronger and all of that stuff. And that's really what you want. This is more than just glasses. It's an entire philosophy of life that's behind it. And that decides whether or not you're actually going to stick with these routines. Because just the mechanics of putting on a glass every day, everyone can do that. But the reasons why that makes the difference. Because most people probably, like I did, are not going to actually wear these blue light blockers. They've been sitting here in some corner for a whole year before I started really using it. So the thing can fix it, but if you don't want to use it, then it's not going to have, you know, not going to be fixed. So, you know, as a result, I would highly recommend you starting using these blue light blockers. I would highly recommend you doing some research on why they work so you can convince yourself emotionally why it actually works, because just taking it from me is not going to be enough. And once you do understand it, and once you start using it every day, you'll start noticing that you go to bed earlier, you wake up feeling more refreshed. And as a result, you're going to be more motivated, have more energy and have more mental clarity. And as a result, you'll make more money.